hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to share with you um, a bit of a makeup look I'm just gonna jump right in with the Tarte clean slate um, poreless perfecting primer this one is like a pore filling one I already have done all my skincare and stuff like that and if you can see a little bit of blackness under my eyes that's because today I was um, doing a wear test of a mascara and um, I just wiped it off for the video so tonight I'm not doing any sort of like crazy makeup look and I know that the lighting is probably gonna be really 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 bad um, maybe I can use my flashlight from my phone to help it'll be a little bit harsh but at least it'll be like something okay so it's a little bit harsh but at least you can see me a little bit more so I've just um, put that in my t-zone and then I'm gonna be using um, this elf ultimate blending brush if you see me wipe anything off, I'm not wiping it on my pants. I have um, washcloths that I got from Walmart that um, I use. I'm going to be um, trying to use the Cover FX Power Play Foundation today. This is in the shade N10, which is what I was in the custom cover drops. And I'm just going to do that for right now. I forget how full or not full coverage these are. Um, I'm really going for like a na more natural look. I just want my skin to look really nice. Um, if you watched my car vlog from the other day, then you will know that I've been feeling under the weather lately. And um, I just want to put on some makeup and feel nice and look nice but I don't want to take too much time with it um, that's looking pretty it's clinging on to my dry patches a little bit which is kind of frustrating but I haven't used this foundation in so long um, I feel like I might need an N15 in it, but maybe the undertone in N15 is wrong. I don't know why I got N10, to be honest. Um, but worst case scenario, I can always just warm up my skin with bronzer. Sorry, I have my mirror over here. Well, I'm trying to like see what I'm actually doing. I think after all the craziness in the hospital and such, I think now I'm getting a cold, which is never something you want. I feel like it's a little light and my mouth looks crazy right now, but I think it's going on pretty. Um, maybe add a little bit more there and I'll do a little bit more coverage on my cheeks because that's where I tend to be very, very red and lose coverage and then I think I'm going to stop at that and if I need more coverage after this, then... I'll go in with my concealer, but I think that this should be good enough. Plus, I feel like for some reason, like, coverage always is, mm, it looks better and better when once you have, like, all your face products and stuff like that on. I'm going to try buffing this in up here. 
I feel like it doesn't necessarily layer well. This isn't a foundation review or anything like that. I just wanted to chat with you guys while I was putting on my makeup. And sometimes the easiest thing to chat about is just what you're using. So I think I look really pale and flat, obviously, but um, I also have a pretty harsh light on me right now. And um, that foundation is probably a half shade too light for me. I'm gonna make sure that I blend it down because my double chin gets very, very uh, red in the winter time. I'm using the CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer in Fair. I actually don't think I really need any more coverage anywhere else, so I'm just gonna put the concealer on here. I really like this concealer. I feel like it blends out really well. It's not too light to where it makes me look like sickly or ghostly or cakey. I just find that like if you, at least on myself, if I have, I um, oh my gosh, these little specks from this mascara are driving me crazy. They're all over my face. Um. I just find that if I choose a concealer that's way too light on me, then I wind up looking up looking really crepey and cakey and pancakey and it's not good. Normally I like using um, an under eye setting powder, but my one from my NYX palette is all used up. You'll see that in a little bit. So I'm just going to have to use my normal setting powder. This is a Morphe G5. Mine's all chewed up. <laughs> so this is my skin up close. I mean, I think it looks okay. I've really hit pan on this powder. So a lot of these things, um are my like everyday go-to's. I haven't really been liking the Pixi um, skin tint. I don't know, I feel like it oxidizes really badly on me. So, I'm doing, um, basically what I wanna do is I wanna start doing a bunch of different wear tests. Hey, sweetheart. Um, I need to get that door fixed. I'm going to very, very, very lightly bronze. I'm using my NYX contour kit. As you can see, that used to be a uh, that used to be a a light, like kind of whitish pink tone, and I totally use that. And I've hit pan on my contour. Um, I'm going to use this shade today because even though it technically looks darker than the other one, I just feel like this is a bit more of a more flattering shade and this is a Morphe R4. So like I said, was saying, I keep my everyday makeup separate from my filming makeup. So normally you guys will not see these products. But, um, I wanted to film today and I just wanted to do, um, I just wanted to do not only something quick and relaxed to do with you guys, but also I wanted to, um, just use my everyday stuff because I want to see how this foundation performs and, um, no, it's not looking the best on my nose. Um, and I also um, wanted to use my new Clover palette 
as you could probably see from the title of this video. I have something in my eye. So this is, <laughs> I need to get a new one of these. Um, this is the e.l.f. blush brush, as you can see, um, someone got to mine, someone named Jude. I'm just going to be using the cool contour color from the NYX palette. And just slightly contouring. I never contour the middle right here because you can clearly see it, and on me, it doesn't look like a shadow. If I contour there, it looks like a beard. So, just, you know, in case you were wondering why I don't contour there. I'm going to use blush next. This is the Milani Flower Trio blush. You will have also seen this in my, um, I'm taking the middle shade. You will have seen this in my everyday makeup collection video. Um, still use it every day that I wear makeup and I really like it I think it does it's just like a really great everyday blush shade and if I'm going for like a more blushy look then I can use that but I am going to be doing eyeshadow on my eyes I normally only go for a really blushy look if I'm not going to be using any eyeshadow so this is what the clover palette looks like Ooh, one of my hairs isn't it um, actually, I don't think that this is called the Clover Palette. I think it's called a Girl's Best Friend Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Sorry if I blind you. Um, you can see my all my makeup set up. <laughs> um, and I got this because my peanut butter and jelly palette is starting to smell a little bit off. Um, which is never a good sign with makeup. So I figured it was just better safe than sorry. Um, to, um, get, just to get a new, um, a new palette. And, um, I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E23 and the shade Chihuahua. The only thing I wish that it had in here was, um, a shade like a white matte shade because that's what I like to blend my eyeshadow up into my brow bone with but it's okay that it doesn't have one you can see that that shade just blends out really really pretty it's a really natural color I think it's really pretty and uh, effortless and again we're not doing a revolutionary makeup look I'm just slapping some eyeshadows on my eyes kind of testing this palette out I've already swatched all the shades and that's the other thing that I like about this palette too um, I'm going to go in with an E28 and the shade Fur Baby um, the other thing I like about this palette is that it has those pops of color so if I was like going out for date night or um wanted to do something like a little bit more fun and exciting for you know going out um, to a museum or to lunch or dinner with my friends or going to a bar or something like that then I could still I wouldn't have to go into my big makeup collection in order to get some really fun colors um, especially like I like to be very, very like matchy matchy um, is something that I think my grandmother instilled in me when I'm just taking that big fluffy brush and the yellow shade from the NYX contour kit and I'm just blending out the top edges just so that it's really nice and blended. You look um, good. Aren't you gonna put lipstick on? Yeah, after. Mm. Can I help you pick out a color? We'll see. Okay. Can I still clean um, this big though? Yeah, just eat your yogurt. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in with Daddy Loves Me, which is this shade right here, mm. and I think it's a really pretty shade. It um, looks very pigmented. I'm going to tap a little bit off, and I'm just going to go, oh yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to go in the outer corner and the crease. These shades are just blending out super beautifully together. I'm really happy I got this palette. 
and I really like that color. It just like, I don't know, I just find that like adding a little bit of a color just brings a little bit more interest to the look. And again, I'm just really focusing it on the outer corner and then fluffing it through the crease to blend it into everything else. So I'm thinking about starting a new series on my channel because um, I actually got the setting spray I'm going to be using today is the Hangover setting spray, that like coconut one. And um, I feel like I'm like the last person on earth to try it. And I was joking around myself that I'm always late to the party. And so I thought that that might be like a fun, cute, um, series to do is called uh, late to the party and it's where I try out stuff that has been out for forever and uh, um, give my you know honest review on it and see how you know see if people like that basically I'm gonna take a flat sh um, shader brush this is a BH Cosmetics 10 and I'm gonna go into cuteness overload which is this pink shimmery shade in the corner over here um, like I said before I have swatched these shades and they're really really pretty and super fun and really pigmented I think there was only one shade in here but I was kind of like mm -hmm. oh like that's not as pigmented as I wanted it to be but it wasn't like it wasn't absolutely awful by any means, and I can't even remember what shade it is now. Maybe, maybe TF Mascot? But I've also really, I've also heard that purples are like really, really, really hard to get. I'm just blending with a fluffy brush um, that lid shade. What did you use the little, the really little tip brush? I'm gonna use it for my inner corner. Yeah, those brushes are always good for those spots because they're really tiny. And you no know, other brush like that with the size of a tip like that can like go in there, your inner corner, right? Yeah. I'm all done. So. I only so. did a couple scoops. That's fine. You only need a little snack. We're gonna go soon. Uh huh. My tummy still has a room. I just wanted to get some food in my belly. Okay. Because I was kind of hungry. So I'm gonna take Puppy Eyes, which is this shade down here. It's a satin white that has glitters all throughout, and it is so so pretty. Which one? This one right here. It's like it's that perfect like wash of color if you want to put yeah. it like all over your lid and it just I don't know I think no, it's just perfect um I'm gonna take this flat shader brush from PH Cosmetics this is a number nine and I'm gonna go in with daddy loves me yeah. and I'm just gonna stamp it <laughs> under my lower lash line mom can I have some makeup too I know, sweetheart, you don't need makeup. Aww. You are beautiful just the way you are. You are too. No, oh, thank you very much. And then I'm going to take this little tiny RG18 brush from Morphe. And I'm going to go back in with the shade Chihuahua. And I'm just going to blend that out. And then I'm going to go back in with the yellow NYX Good shade. Eyes are sparkly. Why are they so sparkly? My eyeshadow? <laughs> because there's glitter in it. Mm. So that was my little demo of the Culver palette. If you guys want to see me do something 
super extravagant with it like really play with all the colors the bold colors in it the yellow the blue the purple that sort of thing then definitely let me know because i can 100 percent do that um i'm going to take uh I'm going to take this little brush again. This is a BH16 brush. This is the one that I used um, with puppy eyes. And I'm going to run that under my brow bone. I know I haven't done my brows yet. But I just want to get that part out of the way. Run that right under my brow bone. And then we can do the other brows. And brush through. <laughs> this is the retractable brow pencil from Wet n Wild. Only have that much left. Oh Look at that. <laughs> oh I love this so much. Um Oh man. You just love that thing. Yeah. Now you have no more. Right? Almost. I'm gonna have to try either try something new or get a new one. Yeah. Be gentle. Mom, can I try biting into a carrot and getting the tooth out? Sure. After the dinner. Okay. I'll take a carrot and then just bite into it. <laughs> like this. Sounds great. And try to get the tooth out. And then I'll get money. From the tooth fairy? Yeah. But I'm, if I leave a note to ask her for something else that but she can not bring like um like the little pet thingies mm -hmm. I love pet thingies I she can't bring that oh, this eyebrow always gets so much bigger and I don't know why maybe I need to trim it more Wait, can I see that eyebrow is so big thank you Okay, this is the clear brow gel from e.l.f. Mom, do we still have that e.l.f. book that I got? I don't know. And I want that for my um, Christmas bedtime story for mm -hmm. Christmas. Okay. I'm going to put the Essence um, Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in Silky Nude in my waterline. Does that hurt? Nope. What is a waterline? It's the space between your eyeball and your lower eyelashes. And then I'm going to um, put on some mascara. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara in Very Black. Mm. I think it's supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced one. In the pink packaging. Just what going pink packaging? off of the shape of the wand. Can I have some, please? No, sweetheart. Okay. We have a lot of laundry in here. It's like a laundry jungle. Oh, thanks. <laughs> right? It kind of is, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I have to put my laundry away. Yeah. That's one coat. Oh, I never showed you <gasps> the eyeshadow. I think I got a cavity. You don't have a cavity, sweetheart. wrong with this tooth. You probably just have a little bit of food in it. It's okay. It's probably just a raspberry seed. Yeah. Raspberry and blackberry. Like seeds okay. you already got. So I'm going to take a little bit of a spoolie and just run it through my lashes because I feel like... Spoolie? What's yeah. spoolie? A little bit clumpy. Oh, that's spoolie. How do you not get that wet? 
Mom. Well, a little bit of mascara gets on, but that's okay because I only use it for mascara. And now I think I'm going to spray my face so that it will set while I'm doing my lipstick. I can do it. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX 3 in 1 um, primer and setting spray. I can do it for you. No, oh, thank you. You look gorgeous. Thanks. Why? Ooh, I opened my eyes too soon. Huh? What did you say? I said I opened my eyes too soon. It was still spray in the air and I put it right in my eyeball. Um, and I'm switching to that one because if you saw my thing, this was my um, makeup, but I can't get that last little bit out. It's stuck in there. So... Um, we'll try to I think get I one. did blush and bronzer. Oh, I didn't do highlight yet. So I I'm like just it. mixing the two highlights. My contour kit might look a little bit different than yours because, um, I, um, I switched my shades around so that I could use them or I can have, I could arrange them how I use them. Um, and the reason I mix the two of them together is because if I use only the deeper one, then it shows up as like brown on my skin. It's very, it's too deep for my skin. But if I use only the white one, then it shows up as like a harsh white cast on my skin. So this kind of gives me a pretty champagne shade. <sighs> and now for lips. So that's how that looks on. Mom. So this is the finished look using the um, Cover FX Power Play. My nose is running, excuse me. <laughs> Um, the Cover FX Power Play Foundation plus the Clover Palette. So let me turn off the flash on the thing so that you can see it in normal lighting as well. And this is how everything looks. This is how I look in natural lighting. Um, yeah. I look a little washed out. So I'm still a little bit blue, but at least you can see that blue. I have skin still texture. Blue. Like violet blue. So that's how it looks. I actually, I really like it. We'll see how it wears. And I'll okay. update you guys on how it wears through the, um, um yeah, whatchamacallit, through dinner and stuff like that. that, that the only part I'm a little worried about is my upper lip. Seems a little textured there, but I don't know. We'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot more casual than um, my big like setup and everything like that, but I just wanted to get my makeup done and chat with you guys a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put a poll up somewhere in the video make sure that you vote on it i'm actually going to put two polls in this video one of them is going to be what foundation you want me to do a wear test on first and um it'll be a full day wear test and like my full like opinions and stuff like that from like remembering my first impressions till now and also um the other poll is going to be if you want me to do another look with the clover palette so make sure you vote on those polls check out the links um, in the cards and I will have everything that I possibly can listed in the description box down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!